Santiqua C. Beginning the lap, it's really important to get a good exit out of the final corner. It's a really long drag to turn one. So to prepare the lap as fast an exit as possible. Ignoring the kink, brake marker for turn one is in between the 100 and 150 boards. Every brake in, trail braking towards the apex, getting on the power as early as possible, making sure to avoid the wall on exit. Brake marker for turn two is just after the 150 board. Heavy braking again, trail braking towards the apex, an early apex if possible, get the car rotated and on power using all the road on exit to get the power down without the oversteer. Brake marker for turn three, there's not one in existence, so it's just before that black notice board on the right hand side. Trail braking, but finish before the apex and up to power as you crest in the apex, running wide on exit again. Brake marker for turn four, I'm using the blue and the white boards as they change. I'm braking and moving the car over to the left hand side, but you need to be really careful not to get dragged into the gravel trap. Trail braking towards the apex, onto power as early as possible. As you can see there, I'm fighting a little bit of oversteer, which has cost me a little bit of time. Brake marker for turn five is just before the hundred board again. Trail rigging towards the apex. Again, wanting to get on power just as you crest the apex. Running all the way wide on exit. Brake marker for this corner is the bush on the left hand side, just as it disappears from view. Trail braking again towards the apex as you crest it back on power and all the way wide on exit, managing any oversteer that you may have. Okay, so the brake marker for this corner is just before the ambulance on the right hand side here. Trail braking towards the apex, don't hit the curb on the inside as it will unsettle the car. And then running wide on exit, maximizing your exit speed. Okay, so the next sequence of corners, you want to start wide for the first right hander to enable you to be as far over to the left for the next left hander which will set you up nicely for the last right hander and you're going to want to get on the power nice and early so you're maximizing your exit speed and then your speed down the bridge. Okay so the brake marker for the corner just after the bridge here there's a little orange man there on the right hand side just as he disappears from view as in heavy braking down through the gears as quickly as possible trail braking towards the apex and again picking up the power as you crest the apex uh, the long right hander before the straight you want to start from as wide a position as possible moving it over to the right hand side waiting to see the blue boards on the left hand side here before you get up to full power to maximize your speed down this very long straight okay so the brake marker for this corner just as the 150 board disappears from view heavy braking trail braking towards the apex you can take the curb if you get there up to power as early as possible and running the car wide again on exit ensuring that you're managing any oversteer okay so the next sequence of corners i like to think of them as the porsche curves a bit less grand perhaps but it's all about keeping the speed up and driving line. So a little lift here to make sure that you don't run onto this grass verge here. If you do run onto the grass verge, it's gonna slow you down for the remainder of these corners. A little brake here, just to get the car turned in and bleed some speed so that you're not running too wide on exit for this part. Get the car turned violently here across the curbs so you can carry full speed all the way up to this corner. So brake marker is just before the 100 board. Trail braking towards the curb on the apex. You can cross it, I've just missed it there. 
and you need to be on power as early as possible. So the final corner, that white board on the left hand side just as it disappears from view. And then for the apex you need to be cut in as much as possible to try and straighten up the exit so you don't run wide onto the grass on the right hand side. Okay, so let's see what that looks like in a lap. Okay, so approaching turn one, get the car turned in at the kink, get it back over to the left hand side, you will be fighting it. Trail breaking towards the apex. I'm a little bit wide here, lost maybe a tenth. I managed to avoid the ball. Any kiss on the walls will slow you down. So, spot my brake mark on the turn two. I'm going to want to slam it down through the gears as fast as possible, trail braking towards the apex, getting the car rotated nice and early so I can get on the power as early as possible to fly up for this corner. Brake before the apex and on power before the apex. It's a wide exit. And then brake in for this right hand thing moving the car over to the left during the break-in. I've missed the apex a little bit and fighting some oversteer on exit which has cost me maybe a tenth or two down this part of the straight. These next two are left-handers, pretty much identical. Make sure that you don't oversteer on exit. Nice and smooth throttle applications. Moving the car back over to the right-hand side of the road. Spotting the ambulance from a break-in point. Avoiding the kerb on the inside and up to power as soon as possible. Moving the car over to the left hand side of the road to set myself up for these sequence of corners. Making sure I'm in control of the car here. Don't overdrive. Overdrive will make you slower, so you need to be in control. Up to power as early as possible to maximize my speed across the bridge. And the braking point for this next corner is really difficult to see. To spot the orange man, slam it down through the gears as quick as possible, avoid the curb on the inside and up to power without any oversteer. The orange painting on the arm go on the right hand side there is my marker to know when to turn in and I'm up to power as early as possible avoiding any kisses on any walls. So this is a really long straight. Um, I've realised I'm up on my lap at the moment and realised that 24 is certainly possible so I'm visualizing the end of the lap knowing what I've got to do but unfortunately that means I'm in my head too much so I get the braking right but then I'm a little tentative on the exit I could have got the power down a lot earlier here which is going to cost me through these sequence of corners a little lift for this right hander cut the curb but avoid the grass verge on the exit, moving the car back over to the right hand side, making sure that I don't run too wide here because I need to get it back over the apex to make sure I don't run wide there, braking to get the car turned in and bleed some speed, I've missed the apex again, but the apex on the final corner is pretty good. Uh, but as you can see from the potentials across the line, I've left some time on the track. It's a really long lap, but try not to over overdrive it, because all you're going to do at the end of the day is cost yourself lap time.